How are you? Would you be able to introduce yourself and your food account? My name is Jessica. Um, I run a food uh, Instagram called Leftovers Guaranteed because I'm always the person who goes out to a restaurant and I'm like, oh, I definitely want you know this appetizer, this entree, this dessert, and I'm always bringing it the box home because I just can't finish it but I'm definitely gonna eat the leftovers um how did you get into cooking so I am the oldest of three um and so any other oldest children probably know that means that you become mom's helper a lot of the time uh, my mom started working again when I was in about like probably fifth or sixth grade so um in order to get my dinner on the table I would help her out prepping you know like oh make sure you go cook the rice and make sure like you go soak the veggies and things like that. Yeah. Um, and I've always been in love with food. My parents are really, really big on eating at like really good restaurants or just appreciating like what good food tastes like. I'm um, just going to put my hands really quick. So I've always been really interested not only in where to find good food, but how to make it. You got your wrapper, you're going to get your filling. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to plop it right in the center. And what you want to do is you're sort of like wrapping around it, right? So as you put it in, you can just start pinching the sides around it. And what you really want to do is as you go, you need to add more until you fill up to the top. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, um, COVID-19 has really affected Chinatowns uh, pretty significantly. Um, even before... For example, in New York City, we pretty much went into shutdown in March, about halfway through March. But even long before that, Chinatown was feeling the effects, um, whether it was because people were hearing about uh, COVID uh, happening in China and decided that they were going to stay away from Chinese restaurants out of fear and ignorance. Also because a lot of Chinatowns do depend on tourism from abroad, uh, from China, for example, to help support their margins. So they were really impacted in terms of business. Um, there's this one really great initiative in New York called Welcome to Chinatown, mm -hmm. which is working to raise money for businesses since they decide, you know, like maybe they're not getting help from the government. So we're going to help ourselves. They're raising money through what's called longevity funds so that they can grant about $5,000 to various small businesses that apply. So, you know, if you can find ways to help your local Chinatown, whether it's donating to similar initiatives or just ordering, telling your friends to order, it's really such a shame to see these places that like I grew up with and that I love be so devastated by this virus and by the effect on mm -hmm. it. I hope they taste good. <laughs> One thing that my mom loves to do is try like three different versions of the same recipe. So she'll do one and then we'll make notes and say, oh, we should have added more of this or we need less of this and then we'll have to make another. So I've eaten a lot of shomai in the past couple weeks trying to perfect this recipe. So I think I'm probably gonna give mine a little more time, but you can already see on the outside, they're getting nice and brown. We're just gonna make sure that the insides are cooked as well. Yeah. But you can see some of mine are a little more lopsided <laughs> than the others. but. Um, I'm going to check back on mine in maybe three minutes. Thank you so much, Jess. Thank you for being part of the Locals Festival and for, like, showing us how to make this and for just bringing up, like, really important topics. Yeah, absolutely. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Um, and please, please, please donate to Restore NYC. Make sure to donate or go support your local Chinatown. Um, have a great day. Yeah. Thanks, Erica. Bye.